Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, the teacher mm -hmm. is here already. I need to see your cameras on, please. So I can see you and say hi to you. What? <laughs> I need to see. I need to see. Necesito ver your cameras on. Sus cameras my on. Cam my cameras on. So I can say hi to you. Así les puedo decir hola. Right? Perdón, si me... right. Excellent. Teacher, hable más despacio. Ah, come on, teacher. No. Tranquilos. Take classes. it easy. Take it easy, teacher. Okay, Irma, thank you. Gracias por dejarme saber, Irma. Thank you, thank you. No, clase, a veces hay que acostumbrarnos también. ¿Qué está diciendo la teacher muy rápido? No, pero es como la velocidad normal, tal vez, de escuchar. Mm. How was your weekend? Did you have a great weekend? How was your Saturday and Sunday? So was exciting. it good? Very good. good. Very good. Okay. Not bad. Very good. So so. With with my son. With your son, okay. With German, with my son. Do you have plans for tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to work. Really? You need to yes. work tomorrow. Oh my God. Who Me else? Too. Mm -hmm. so, I go tomorrow. I'm going to work tomorrow. You're going to work tomorrow as well. Imagine. Yes, in my case, yeah, I won't work tomorrow. Wow, one day off. Finally, por fin un día libre. For, for women. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. Mother's Day tomorrow. So, in the case that I have moms, y tengo mamás en este grupo, congratulations. Happy Mother's Day to you. Mm -hmm. Remember that we appreciate you. Les apreciamos muchísimo, okay? Happy Mother's Day a todos. Les enviamos todos un mensajito en el chat. Happy Mother's Happy Day. Mother Day. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, right? Con, Igual a congratulations. Las congratulations. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, ahí estamos. Felicidades, chicas. Igual, the same for me. I'm already a mom, you know? I already have a baby. Yo también ya tengo un bebé. Bueno, well, ya ni tan bebé, seis años. Six years old. Yes, so I'm a mom. También soy mamá. Exactly. All right. Congratulations, teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so déjenme cargar la lista de asistencia. Aquí vamos. Section. ¿Qué sección estamos ya? Section number eight. eight. Three. Three. Did you Three. finish the activities? Yeah. Section number one and two. Las terminaron, chicos. ¿Sí? No? Yeah, yeah. Very good job. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your effort. Yes, finish. Gracias por el esfuerzo. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> what were we talking about on Thursday? What was the topic for Thursday? Who can remember? ¿Cuál era nuestro tema del jueves? Adjectives. Uh -huh. Adjectives. Okay. Parts of the body. Mm. Cerca, no. no. Parts of the body, no. Recuerdan. Mm -hmm. okay. Have close now. I have, I have had. Adjectives. Okay, I have a. I had that. Headache. Los common. Headache. Remedy. Headache. ¿Quién se acuerda? Common remedies. Remedies. Common right. remedies. Aspirin, antacid, and muscle cream, and cold drops, etc. Very good job. So those are the most common remedies. Exactly. 
Estamos en la unidad de how do you feel. ¿Cómo te sientes? So, la sección de how do you feel. So, glass, cameras on. Tengo muchas cámaras apagadas. Recuerden, una de las... Eh, llamémosle reglas. reglas o exigencias mm -hmm. del grupo si es mantener cámaras encendidas. Recordemos que estas son clases monitoreadas. Okay? So, para no tener ningún inconveniente, cámara encendida, please. I know you can do it. Claro que podemos hacer. Solo me ha justificado una persona. Los demás, cámaras encendidas, por favor. Muy bien, aquí vamos. Continuemos hasta que vea cámaras encendidas. How do you feel? Today. You know, I feel, I feel a little bit sick. Feel today? Yes. To be honest, ma, I have a headache. I have a big headache, you know. Me duele bastante la cabeza. In my feet. I went to the dentist today because as you can see, I'm wearing braces, also braces. So once a month, I need to go. Una vez al mes voy y es un dolor insoportable. It's a real pain. Así que ustedes me van a dar recomendaciones ahora. Um, really? I'm expecting your recommendations, right? You take a aspirin? Ah, thank you, I, No, I haven't. No he tenido tiempo. I haven't had time to take an okay. aspirin, imagine? Because mm -hmm. I have so many other groups. Tengo otros grupos que atender. So I didn't have time to go and look for an aspirin. But that is a great recommendation, Arely. Okay, class. Veamos la lista de asistencia. Monday, main. Ninth, Aleli Concepción. I am here, teacher. Excellent. Ana Stephanie. Present. Cesar Alexander. I am happy, teacher. Great. Elvis Aníbal. Present, teacher. Fernando Arturo. No? Present. Oh, great. Gerson Vladimir. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Do I have Iris? Hear me. Great. Irma Raquel. Present. Jessica Marielos. Present teacher. Josué Neftalí. I'm here. Great. Kimberly Janet. Do I have Kimberly? Yes, no. Maria Lucila. I'm here. Excellent. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Present. Okay. Eh, Nurian Karina. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes. Presente. Rebeca Eunice. Present teacher. Rosemary Beatriz. Uh, present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Did I mention Roxana Beatriz? Yes, right? Present teacher. Okay, okay. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Jessica Marilu. Me, teacher. And Saira Jamilet. Present. Great. So this is the attendance list for today. Great class. I was telling you or I was asking you about the last activities that we were having, you know? What's the matter? ¿Qué nos pasa? Okay, me duele la cabeza y common remedies. But right now, 
Let's go to section number three so we can see what activities we have. And don't forget that this is the week in which we are going to have classes on Friday. This Friday, we are going to have classes, okay? So I'm expecting you to be here on Friday. Let's go to section number three. What is the topic or what is the name of section number three? You can't miss it. You can't miss it. This is section number three. And if you want to go and check your book, you are going to find the topics from section number three in unit number, let me see. Number, what number is this? 13, unidad 13, okay? Unidad 13, vámonos a unidad 13. So here we go, take a look at this one. Section number three, here we go. We have so many videos and I motivate you. Los motivo a que veamos los videos antes o incluso después de la clase por cualquier duda, okay? 24 seven, you can access the platform 24 seven so you can check the resources. Let me see, here we go. 3.1. Vocabulary, places, and things. Oh, this is a very nice topic, you know? What are we going to do? Let's listen, and then we can practice. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places, and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Great, this is just the vocabulary. Let's review the vocabulary now. What are they talking about? Se vieron, de que estaban hablando? What are they talking about? About places, places, around the town we can say so let me show you what we have right here let me have the same vocabulary let's practice let's do a speaking practice right now Aquí vamos. here we go okay look Places around the town. Letter A, we have a post office. Letter B, a drugstore. Do you know what is the meaning of drugstore? What is this, a drugstore? Pharmacia. Ah, very good. We can call it drugstore. It's like the most common. Es la forma más común de llamarla. Drugstore, drugstore. Aquí está, drugstore, this one. Or we can... Yes? Un ejemplo sería droguería. Doctor. Esa sería como la traducción bien literal, pero nosotros la llamamos en Spanish. Farmacia. Farmacia. Mm -hmm. Drugstore. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Si decimos farmacia, we can say drugstore. Letter C. What do you see in picture in letter C? What is the picture about? Gas station. A gas station. A gas station. The place in oh, which you go get some gas for your car or your bike, okay? Gas station. Letter D. A department store. Department store. Can you mention the name of some stores who have a department store? ¿Qué será eso? Department store. Es una tienda de departamentos. Ah, okay. Pero es mucho más grande. It's porque bigger. se divide en departamentos, ya sea de, de zapatos, okay. de ropa. Sí, de varias. So, can you give me some famous department stores in El Salvador? Yes. Um, example, Simán. Simán is a great example. Sears. Sears is a great example. Department uh, de uh, cooking, uh, department de, de, de shoes, okay. um, etc. Exactly. Yes, so these big stores, we are going to call them a department store. Sears, Siman, Prisma Moda, those are great examples of department stores. Great. Bank, bank, oh, I guess this is a clear vocabulary, right? Banks, bank, bank. bank. And then we have book stores. Can you mention some famous book stores in El Salvador? Book librerías. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is the difference between library and book stores? Biblioteca. Mm, very good. Which is biblioteca? ¿Cómo le llamamos a las librerías, a las bibliotecas en inglés? I'm sorry. Library. Entonces, ¿qué son las bookstores? La tienda de los libros. De libros. Tienda de libros. So, what are you Para ir a leer, para hacer tareas, ah. para ir a comprar los libros. Ok, the library. The library is for real. Mm, I don't know, usted déjame, ¿qué cosa es la diferencia? Library ah. es la biblioteca. Ah, y okay. bookstore es, es la librería. Uh -huh. Library is for study. Bookstore is yes. shopping. Yes. Oh, bookstore is shopping. So if I want to get some paper, some pencils, pens, where do I go? Papelería. Uh -huh. And how do we say that in English? Library. Uh -huh. Library. Library, are you sure? Quiero que estemos seguros. Don't confuse. Aquí va la explicación. Muy bien, muchos mm. tienen la idea. Library is the place in which you go and read some books. Biblioteca es library, no es librería. Don't confuse. Se parece la idea en español, pero no. Library, biblioteca. I can go. And get some books and read some books. For example, it is very common to find libraries at universities. Se han fijado en las universidades, University of El Salvador, eh, y en any, any others, right? Tienen todas sus libraries. So students can go get some books and read. No los compramos, solo leemos ahí. Bookstores, exactly. We can go and buy books. A veces no solo, hay, no solo hay libros, si se fijan. ¿Qué más podemos encontrar en una bookstore? Magazines. Magazines, great. Magazines. What else? Ma maps. Exactly. Magazines. Maps. And even like interactive games, right? Have you ever seen the, those ones? Interactive games, 
for key. Example interactive games is chess. Um, um, sub letters. Puzzles. Uh, sub letters. Ah, okay. Sub, uh, sub, exactly. Sub de letras. Sub letters. Yes. Puzzles. Rompecabezas. So that there is. Are, <laughs> there are bookstores online too. Ah, for example, can you mention a very famous bookstore online? An online very famous. Yes. Amazon. Have you ever heard of Amazon? You can go and even sell your books. Pueden vender sus propios libros. Eh? You can get some money from your books. Very good. So that is a bookstore. Coffee shop. Wow, coffee shop. Can you mention some famous coffee shops in El Salvador? Uh -huh. Coffee cup. The coffee cup. Like Which one? Starbucks. Starbucks, okay. Starbucks. Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Only those. Juan ones. Valdez. Juan Valdez is a, a very recognized coffee, coffee shop. shop. Bam Bang. Ah, okay. Bam Bang, no. But that is <laughs> yes. not, that is yes, not like really it. a coffee the shop. shop in the Braille. Mm -hmm. So how do we call them? Como in le Santa, Maya. I like it, Bam Bang. In San Salvador, no ah. sirve. Really? Oh, interesting, Cesar. Interesting. Interesante comentar. I didn't know. I think the opposite. You think the opposite, okay, interesting. And the last one, a supermarket, okay. We have so many uh, branches. Max Defensa, Super Selector, Price Mart, Walmart, Walmart, Price Mart, Price Mart, very good. So, if you see, these are examples of places in which we can buy or we can get some products. Look at this one. We can buy or get some products. Podemos comprar u obtener, tal vez, algunos sin precios, sin algún valor monetario en estas tiendas. So, look at this one. We have this vocabulary right here, a backpack, cold medicine. Do you know what is the meaning of cold medicine? ¿Se acuerdan que es cold medicine? Medicina para un tipo de refriado. Ah, muy bien. Sí, porque algunos me decían que era helada, medicina helada. No, no, no. Es eso? <laughs> para la gripe, cold <laughs> medicine. Yes. It's letter B, it's a drowster. Then we In have a, a David card, tarjeta de débito, or it can be a credit card. And an espresso. This is a type of coffee, right? Gasoline or gas. A magazine and stamp. Stamp. What is In the, the meaning of office. stamp? Exactly. We need stamps if we want to send a letter para las cartitas, los sobres, stamps. Yeah. So, Stampias. what is the question? Exactly. Look at the question. Veamos la pregunta que tenemos que hacer. Let's go back to the platform and to the example. Vamos al ejemplo. Oops. This is right here. Wait, give me a second. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. Okay, this Let's is the one. It's the correct one. And Let's get started by listening and practicing. Here we go. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six.
six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, okay. you can pay bills at a bank. Look, listen to these sentences. You can, then you we can have the expression, buy. pay bills where? At a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, you can, you can. Let me go to my board. It's Cesar. I listen to you. What difference entre buy, uh, buy and pay? Okay. Que si you can pay, you can buy. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre esos dos? Here we go. Those are different verbs, you know? Okay, buy aparecen and, dos. Creo que era buy and get. Buy and buy. Buy and buy. Do you mean this one? Pay and buy. Yes? Le agrego otro. Get. Yes. Okay, pay. You know, it's quite similar. Pay, pagar. Buy, comprar. So those are very similar, like synonyms. In both, you need money to obtain the products. En ambos necesitamos dinero para obtener las cosas. Pagar, comprar. But if you want me to give you different... Uh, you can pay in target uh, mm -hmm. credit, algo así, ¿verdad? In the bank. Pay, podemos utilizarlo para servicios. Yo pago Por... mi recibo de la luz. Yo pago, I Por... pay the bill. Pago mis cuentas, ¿ya? Como otra forma. Buy, obtenemos un producto en físico. Buy, yo compro, obtengo algo en físico. Y get, get, también puede ser obtener. But in este caso, for example, if you go to the bank, si vamos al banco y necesitamos una credit or debit card, ¿qué hacemos? ¿La compramos ahí? No. ¿Qué ten, entonces, ¿qué hacemos? La obtenemos. Obtener. Solicitamos. Solicitar. Adquirir, adquirir igual. Adquirir. Excellent. Okay. Those are great synonyms. We can get a credit or or a debit card, where? In a bank, okay? So, how are we going to make? Vamos a hacer oraciones. Miren, you can get, you can pay, buy, or get. Luego mencionamos el producto. De nuestra lista, la lista que yo le di, vamos a mencionar. At. Ah, at. This is a preposition for places. Look at this. this teacher, is, is this. Yeah. Teacher, is this a formula? Yes, this is a formula. This is the formula okay. that we need to follow. We have the subject. Mila. Or the expression, you can pay, you can buy, you can get. Then we have the name of the product. And then we are going to mention the place. Aquí vamos con el ejemplo. Let me write it in a different color. You can get. Voy a utilizar get. You can get. A credit card. A credit card. A credit card. At a bank. Bien, muy bien. Excellent job, Cesar. Thank you. A donde? At a bank. So this is the formula. La voy a escribir juntas. Here we go. 
you can get a credit card at a bank. Okay. If you want, you can write this information, please, so you cannot forget. It is always important to write the information. Siempre escriben en su cuaderno, okay? Okay, here we go. So now that we know the formula, I need you to talk to your classmates. We are going to working group. Using this information, I want you to identify, I guess this is a very easy job to identify where can we buy, where can we get, or where can we pay. Donde conseguimos todos esto? Miren, from one to eight. Speaking time, okay? Identifiquemos las stores o los departments o los places. Vamos, chicos. Se los comparto y ustedes identifican. Identifican. Here we go. What is that, class? Your microphones. Don't forget your microphones, please. Bien, here we go. Okay, do you see the picture? Yes, no? No, no, see. How about now? Yes? About now. Yes. 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 Bien. Yes. So, yes, I get it. Let me give you five minutes. Creo que hasta mucho. Five minutes. Talk to your classmates, please. Respondamos con sus compañeros. ¿Dónde podemos obtener esos productos? Here we go. Vamos, grupo de tres. Here we go. Okay, great. Groups of three. Please join your groups. Unámonos a los grupos. Okay, Walter, let me help you with that one. Okay, there we go. Room number four. Go to room number four. Great. Seria, can you can you can buy a onion and tomato? You can buy. You can buy a uh, onion and tomato, Gladys. In, in supermarket. Oh, no. Or no. oh, también sería donde dice department store. Sí, department store or supermarket. Mm -hmm. 
It's okay. Great. Um, ayer, ma, quizás. Eh, eh, yo digo que. El... En, ¿Cuál sigue? ¿En cuál estamos? Estamos en la cuatro. En la vamos con la cinco. Five, number five. Vamos con la cinco. Ok. Sería. ¿Qué, qué es an express? Uh, it's coffee. It's coffee. Sería. Mm. You can. Entonces, you can buy. 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 O. Oh. An express. Mm -hmm. At a coffee shop. Sí, sí, a coffee shop. Yeah. You can. Aquí puede ser que podríamos también decir. Oh, oh. Aquí, aquí podríamos decir también obtener, ¿verdad? Get. Mm -hmm. No podríamos usar obtener para, para gasolina. Sí, o comprar, quizás. Es más comprar. Puede ser este, comprar porque necesita dar dinero para. Es un producto. Para tenerlo. Yeah. You can buy a uh, gasoline. At a gas station. Okay. ¿Qué significa lo de las siete? Magazine. Revista. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can... Bookstore. Yeah, bookstore. Bookstore. Okay, bye-bye. Oh. Huh? No. Hola. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Did you finish the classroom? Teacher. Oh, no, no. Did you oh, finish? Okay. Tell the me. The exercise, the exercise, uh, maybe, yeah. Bueno. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, you can get, um, Uh, you can you can buy a magazine okay. at a, a, a bookstore. Exactly. At a bookstore. Okay. In a bookstore. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Great. So did you finish? Yes. Excellent. So let's go back. Vamos al main room. Comparemos okay. Here we go. Okay. Excellent. Okay, time to come back. Excellent. Did you did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so I need to listen to you. Okay, you are going to give me your examples, but remember. Try to give me complete sentences as possible. I need to listen to complete sentences. So here we go. Let's see. Let's see the presentation. Veamos la presentación, Carlos. Here we go. Number one, a backpack. A backpack. Quiero escuchar la oración completa. A backpack. Volunteers. Hi. Okay, great. Galilee, go. Is, um, you can you can get um let's pack a pack backpack um es, ah pero ese ya estaba li, ya estaba entonces yes. sería la two. okay number two cold medicine okay you can buy cold medicine at a drug store great excellent example Aleli, tell me the name of one of your classmates. What? Tell me the name of one of your classmates. Is uh, I you can buy packets backpack at the department store. No, no, no. Dígame el nombre de no. uno de tus compañeros, okay? Oh, Sonia. 
Sonia. Sonia. Number three. Great, Sonia. You can, you can get a debit card at, um, at a bank. Great example. Sonia. Okay. ¿Quién sigue? Who's next? Uh, next, uh, Iris. Okay. Iris, please go. Yes, number four, four right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can buy eggs at a supermarket. Great. Iris, Iris, who is next? Um, I don't know. Um, Walter. Walter, please. Oh, no. Why me? Number five. <laughs> okay, I, I, I did it in third person. Great. I can get a, an espresso. In a at the coffee shop. Excellent. Very good an example. And it's espresso, very special. Oh really? Do you like them? An espresso. Oh yes. yes. You know, I guess With it's bread, very strong for me. Para mí es muy fuerte. Very strong coffee. But, yeah, yeah, I don't right? like the agua de cangrejo. Really? <laughs> I prefer that <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. So excellent. With sem with uh -huh. Oh yeah, right. Excellent. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Excellent job, Walter. Uh, Walter, who is Thank next? You. Who is going to participate now? Okay, my next victim. Okay, I like it. Victims and volunteers. I, I want to say this name. Okay. Cesar. Cesar, please. Are you ready with number three? Where is Cesar? I cannot see him. <laughs> Se me el, el ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. <laughs> what is? Number six, gasoline. Six. Yes, please. You can buy gasoline at the gas station. Ah, you can get. Do we you get, get. do we get gasoline? You can buy. Oh, buy mm -hmm. as well. Oh, you know. Not. Yes, yes. No. You can get, you can buy, you can get. buy is quite similar. Saben que el verbo yeah. get se usa para tantas cosas. Get tiene una multitud de okay. usos. It can be buy. También puede ser comprar. So that's okay. You can get gasoline get para up. gas station. Para plantarse. Yes, hay muchos usos. Si lo buscan, es uno de los verbos con más significado en inglés. Get. All right. Cesar, ¿quién sigue? Who is next? Um, <laughs> Look for a volunteer. The Look next for a victim. victim. Yeah, the next victim. <laughs> Eso le gusta a los victims, not class volunteer. Is uh, Rosemary. Rosemary. It's oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am victim. Okay, number seven, Rosemary. Congratulations, Mary. Rosemary. <laughs> number seven. It's okay. You, you can. My, what is a magazine? What is class? What is what a is, magazine class? Yes. What is? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Can you give her some magazine examples? ¿Qué tipo de magazines conocen? Please, example. Mm -hmm. Everybody. <laughs> um, Spider-Man. Woman's Health. Uh -huh. um, two, um, the West Tower. El Almanaque de a <laughs> ah, yeah. ah, similar to A1, right? That is a magazine. Pero eso es un catalog, catálogo, pero magazine. Es como si es una revista. So go, Rosemary. Where can we get a ah. magazine? Entonces sería, uh, you can get um, a magazine at a bookstore. Great job. Excellent. 
Rosemary, who is going to participate now? Can see okay. Rosemary. Look for a volunteer. The next victim. Next victim. Rosemary. Next victim. It's okay. Um, a ver, ¿quién tiene cara de sueño? Ajá, please wake up, everybody. Por eso, por eso, okay. te a ti, Rosemary. <laughs> Vamos a ver a Marina del Carmen. Ok, but Marina is not sleepy, está lista siempre. Go, Marina, I know you're ready. You can get a stamp. Uh -huh. Don't worry, no, that's okay. You can that's get acceptable. Mm -hmm. at, at a post office. At a post office. Great job. So, yeah, don't be sorry, Marina. Ven, ese es el esfuerzo de una mamá. Excellent, Marina. Great. So, now I give you some. Quiero comprar, les pregunto, ustedes me dan recomendaciones. I need to get. An USB, USB device, una USB clase. I need to buy an USB or a memory stick, le llamamos también. Deme recomendaciones. Office Depot. Ah, but give me, the, no, give me the complete sentence. Oraciones completas. Ah, okay. You can get um, Office Depot. USB, USB. USB device. USB device at Office Depot. Okay, class, I need to buy a cake for my mom. You can buy a cake okay. at a uh, uh, bakery. Bake it. You can, you can, buy, you can buy a, a cake in the Tecleña. La tecleña. Ketchup. La tecleña. Okay. Bamba, sí. Bamba. I know la carlita, you want to say no. bamba. Aquí está la tecleña, aquí está la carlita, está oh, really? Tiffany, está. Oh, o sea. Imagine. Very good. Yeah. Class, I need to get a new pair of shoes. Give me recommendations. You can buy a shoes, a uh, pair of Look, pair of shoes. Pair of shoes. You can, you can buy a pair of shoes at um. Chu, ¿cómo es? How do we say? Uh huh. The part of the shoe. Okay. Pardon. Pardon. Payless, sir. Choose, Payless. Choose a store. Choose a store. Choose a store at the. Great. Me gusta eso. Choose a store. Así es. Store. El nombre. I need to get a new dress. Everybody, please. Todos participando. Not only Cesar. Everybody can participate. A new dress class. Déjenme ver. Yo quiero ver mejor. I need to buy a new dress. Go class, I need recommendations. Quiero recomendaciones. Josué, I need to get a new dress. A new dress. You can buy, you can buy, you can buy a new dress, a new dress. Y en, uh, oh, Jacaranda Salón. Okay. Jacaranda. At Jacaranda Salón. Ah, imagine. At Metro Centro, right? Metro Centro. Okay, yes. excellent. Great recommendation. Pablo. Pablo, you know I need to buy some apples and oranges. Give me a recommendation, please. Me repite, por favor. I want to buy apples and oranges. Uh... You, you can, can buy apples. You can buy um, apples. Uh -huh. uh, um, uh, at the uh, Apple store, no sé. Mm -hmm. You can buy apples and oranges at a supermarket. Okay, great, at a supermarket. 
Imaginen que alguien que no habla español y les está pidiendo recomendación. Ah, uh, you know, María Lucila, I need to buy a new cell phone. Give me your recommendation. Cell phone. You can buy my cell phone at the shop. Oh, great. Excellent recommendation. Fernando, I need to buy a car, a new car. Give me your recommendation, please. Uh, you, can, you can buy a, a new car uh -huh. at a car store. At a car store. Excellent. Uh, you know, uh, ¿quién le pregunto? Gladys, I need to buy a sandwich. I'm hungry. I need to buy a sandwich. Gladys. Mm, supermercado. Oh, supermarket. Ah, but give me the complete sentence, please. Mm, Omegas. Uh, in sandwich, I can't can get up in restaurant. Oh, okay. At a restaurant. Excellent. Very good job. So, is it clear? Is this exercise clear? Está claro, chicos? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Very I clear. Very good. It's yes, clear. Sir. And this is very useful. Eso es muy útil, créanme. Esa estructura es very useful. So, look at this one. What we have here. Pronunciation. How do we pronounce these places. In English, we have something that is called compound nouns. It means a noun or two nouns together. In este caso, dos nombres juntos. Veamos the pronunciation. Here we go. Hi, everyone. It's this right. class you learn to sound natural. Tell me, when tell me. Um, one question. Yes. Sorry. Este, uh, how do you say vivero? Viverón o vivero. Vivero donde venden plantas. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood that one. Right now. Ahorita le digo. After the video, okay? Don't worry. Oh, okay. It's okay. No compound nouns. Mm -hmm. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Okay, pronunciation. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. Okay. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas the word by itself is a noun, station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple okay. and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is, Whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Okay, now let's repeat. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Gas station. 
gas gas station coffee shop restroom coffee shop coffee shop shop drug store supermarket supermarket bookstore the bookstore store apartment store now it's your turn what i would like for you to do next is to practice okay so what i can't found now can't found now And give me a definition. He was explaining that a compound noun has microphones. Be careful with your microphone. I don't know who is it, right? Yes. So look at this one. In your book, in su libro también tienen esta información. Pronunciation. Camping nouns. Podemos tener la combinación de dos nombres. En este caso, book and a store. Bookstore. Department and a store. Department and a store. Gas and a station. Gas station. Post. Post office. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Restroom. Supermarket. So if you see the stress or the intonation goes at the beginning. Look. En inglés es bien, bien eh, usual marcar la pronunciación con un círculo, ¿sabes? Miren, bookstore. Cae la fuerza en la primera palabra. Bookstore. Mommy. Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Look at the second mm -hmm. example. Department store. Yeah. Gas station. Post office. No. Aquí pasa no. algo también. Miren, Lincoln Sounds. Mm -hmm. Cuando termina mm -hmm. en consonante y le sigue una vocal, mm -hmm. podemos unirla, ¿ok? El sonido. Mm -hmm. Post office. Post office. Microphones, please. Ah. Teacher, usted puede neutralizarlos desde su yes, you know, but dispositivo. I don't like to do it. No me gusta hacerlo porque Pero, ajá, es algo que deberíamos todos cuidar, ¿ok? Me, I did it. I did it. Okay, let me do it again. Okay, I'm sorry. Sí, a veces no me gusta hacerlo porque... Sí, hay, hay personas que mantienen su micrófono encendido y no hay problema, ¿ok? Y por eso... Bueno, pero aquí vamos, sigamos. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Restroom. And the last one, supermarket. Bien, class, let's practice. Vamos a tener esta actividad... El miércoles nos vamos a grabar. We are going to record ourselves. So, esa actividad la vamos a terminar cuando, chicos? On, on Wednesday, ¿ok? Miércoles. Mañana, Wednesday. recuerden, solo movemos nuestra clase para el día viernes o corremos las clases, ¿ok? Wednesday, Bien. Thursday, and Friday. Tenemos tres días pendientes esta semana de clase, ¿ok? Miércoles, jueves, ¿sí? Viernes, clases. So, please, I really wish you to have a very, very nice day tomorrow. Please, traten de pasarla bien con su familia. Descansen un poco y nos vemos cuando. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday 11. Thank you, Wednesday. Wednesday, 11. Wednesday, 11. Excellent, class. Repasamos, uh -huh. concluimos esta actividad cuando el miércoles. Bien, right. class. See you on Wednesday. Good night. Have Good a night. great night. Good night, everybody. Okay.
Have a good, good night, night, everyone. Bye bye. See you on Wednesday. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you on Wednesday.